Hi, welcome to my DVD, Kettlebells for Abs and Core. And in this particular DVD, we're going to cover exercises that are going to strengthen and tone the entire midsection of your body. The term core is used very commonly, and often it's a misused term. A lot of times people are talking about abdominals, and they use the term core to describe the abdominals. In actuality, the abdominals would make up one component of the core, but the entire core consists of the entire midsection of your body, basically the area that connects your upper and lower body. So the areas of your upper thigh, your hips, your abdominals, your obliques, your lower back, all the way up to the muscles underneath the armpits and below the ribs and in between the ribs. So this entire region, this whole midsection or your torso is the core. And First of all, why do we want to train the core? The core has very important properties for obviously abdominal strength and tone, for low back health, which is very important because often in modern societies, many of us spend hours each day sitting still in a desk, driving. We're constantly in a, in a seated position. So the lower back becomes very tight and over time you're gonna lose strength and lose tone in the midsection. Another reason is for athletic performance. Most, most uh, activities, not just in athletics but in daily life, take place while you're standing on your feet. And so all movements at some point involve interaction or recruitment of your midsection and of your core. So this has, this has benefits for performance in your daily activities as well as your athletic activities. Another important point is posture. If you have a weak midsection, then gravity is going to take its toll on your body and you're going to adapt this very unhealthy posture. So by strengthening the core region, it helps to keep you more upright. It's going to give you a better appearance as well as better performance. Many times, clients that I train both online and in person will ask me to design core training programs to strengthen, to tighten their abs, to strengthen their performance in their activities. And so these particular exercises are designed specifically for you so that you can see how I train my clients, but also many of these routines that I'm going to be teaching you are exercise routines that I use for my own training and my own performance. What muscles are we working? A better question is what muscles are we not working? Okay, basically, all of the muscles minus the lower leg and the arms are going, to involve, are going to be involved in the core and abdominal training sequence. In these tapes, I'm actually differentiating what I call abdominal training from core training. The abdominal training is going to be very specific to target these areas, the abdominal proper, which consists of the four muscle groups in this region. The core training is more comprehensive, including the abdominals as well as the entire midsection. So what I want you to do is you're going to select the weight that enables you to go through the entire sequence without stopping or without interruption. And you don't want it to be too heavy. You don't want it to be too light. You want it to be challenging. How many times a week do you want to train? That depends on your goals. But as a general rule of thumb, you're going to train about two times a week. If this is something that you can do five times a week, then most likely you're using a weight that is too light and the intensity is not high enough. But if you don't train at least twice a week, you're not going to get long-term benefits. So you want to have consistent consistency training two, maybe three times a week. So with that in mind, we're going to move into our first exercise in the core and abdominal series. Now I'm going to lead you through a 10 minute abdominal routine and this is going to be done standing and sitting. You're not going to have to lie down on the floor for any of these exercises and we're going to work the entire abdominal region. So that includes the outer obliques, the internal obliques, and then the outer layer here which is commonly called the six pack, that's the rectus abdominis. And then you have the deep layer which is called the transverse abdominis which moves across the entire abdominal wall. So we're going to do each of these exercises for one minute, moving from one to the next. The first exercise 
is called the around the body pass. Your feet are forward, your hips are forward, and you don't want to allow rotation. So you keep your hips forward, and you have to keep your abdominals tight while you're doing this as you pass the kettlebell around from one hand to the next. And this is going to warm up your lower back, warm up your abdominals, keep the obliques nice and tight. And you're going to switch hands every 15 seconds or so. Passing from one to the next. Start elevating your heart rate just a little bit. Switch again. Keep your body nice and upright, so don't let your body fold down. Stay nice and upright. And switch one more time. You can increase the speed as you get comfortable with the handoff. And now you're going to switch. Take a little bit wider stance. You're going to pass the kettlebell from one hand to the next. This is between the leg pass. And we're going to do this for a minute as well. Figure eight pattern. And you have to really contract your abdominals here to keep the stress from your back. If you let your abdominals relax, you'll start straining your lower back. So keep the abdominals nice and firm. Passing figure eight from one hand to the next. And now you're going to change direction. So you reverse the circle, pass from back to front. Every time you drop, you're contracting the abdominals. That's it. Keep going. Doing a good job. Stick with the pace for another couple of reps here. Okay, now we're going to be doing the standing knee raise. So put all your weight on one leg, other hand on your hip. You're going to raise just like this. Raise your knee and you see that you're contracting the side muscles here, which are the obliques. So really contract. In fact, you can take your other hand, push it right here and feel that compression. Notice that I keep all my weight over this support leg here. I'm not shifting at all. That's it. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. So really feel the burn and a nice contraction in the entire side of your abdominal wall. A few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now same thing, other side. Shift over to the opposite leg and contract. The higher you raise your knee, the more contraction you're going to get. Nice steady rhythm. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Test your abdominals. Make sure you're feeling this contraction here on the obliques. That's it. You really start feeling a nice burn here. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you do the standing ab twist. Hold the kettlebell upside down and you're going to twist side to side. Notice that I'm not letting my hips rotate, keeping my hips forward, twisting the abdominals. You should not feel any stress in your lower back here. You should feel it entirely in the abdominals and maybe in the front of your hips a little bit. It's nice and tight. It's like you're throwing a hook punch. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale.
One more to each side. Good. Now, from the standing position, you're going to do a lateral crunch. So, crunch and stand. So this is also working that side region, getting the love handles and toning everything up there. You're going to feel a nice contraction along the entire side of your abdominal wall. You don't have to go real fast. You want to have a nice solid contraction. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Now, you're going to switch to a bottoms up plank hold. So you put the kettlebell here, go on your knees, press down. Now you're going to hold this position. If you're having trouble with the balance, you can set the kettlebell down on the side and hold it here. But this is an isometric contraction. You're working your arms, but your abdominals are staying nice and firm. You're going to hold this position for the entire minute. Notice that I'm not sticking my butt up. I'm keeping my butt down and the abs tight. And you have to really concentrate, really be strong in your mind as well as your body. So the body wants to shake, you have to control. Use your muscles. Three, two, one. And from here you're going to sit and you're going to do a seated ab twist, just like we did standing. So hips forward, twist, twist. Try not to lean back, stay upright and rotate. This one you do for a minute as well. Again, you should not feel this at any point in the spine. You should feel it in the muscles. So the muscles of the lower back, the muscles of the lateral abdominal wall, and the muscles of the front of the abdominal wall. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Last one is a Russian twist seated. So now you lift your feet, you can cross, and you're going to twist side to side. Just like this, up to down, like a rainbow. Nice arch. Here you have constant tension on your abdominals, which is required in order to keep balance. It's another 30 seconds. If you're having trouble keeping your feet up, you can put your feet down. Three, two, one, and set it down. So that's a 10 minute abdominal routine without lying on your back at all. All right, now we're going to go through another 10 minute abdominal routine. This one's going to be done lying down. And you're going to have six movements, and you're going to do each movement for 90 seconds. Okay, so I want you to keep moving throughout the whole circuit. We're going to work the entire region, and we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Okay, let's get going. The first one, you're going to lie flat on your back. Pick up the kettlebell with two hands. Lock it overhead, and this is the get up, sit up. So up and down. Up and down. Notice that the kettlebell is moving 
in a straight line vertically. I'm not letting it deviate at all. So up and down. I should feel it right in the midsection here. And you're transferring a little bit of weight to this offhand here to help you balance. And then lower down slowly. Up and down. That's it. Keep going. Do your best here. Take your time. You go a little faster if you're able. Or you can slow it down and take some breaths in between. Up and down. Up and down. Exhale as you come up and lower. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale down. Another few reps. Up. Down. That's it. Push yourself up and down. Up and down. Bring it down. You're going to do the same thing on the other side here for 90 seconds. It's a get up, sit up. So you're getting the added benefit here. Not only you're working your abdominals, but you also have to keep your arm muscles moving in order to control the weight. That's it. You're going to dig deep and find that reserve of strength to keep you going through this sequence here. You have to concentrate throughout the whole thing here. If you let your attention drift, you can end up dropping a kettlebell right on top of your body. You don't want that to happen. So keep focused. Keep the kettlebell moving vertically. It's hard work here. It's the only secret. The secret is there's no secrets. You have to keep working. Keep working hard. Got another 20 seconds here. Let's do a few more. Two more. One more. Good. Bring it down. Next kettle. Next exercise is the kettlebell crunch. You're going to hold the kettlebell directly over your chest. As you exhale, you're going to raise your shoulders and crunch. And down. So come up, squeeze, and release. It's not the range of motion that you're concerned with. It's the quality of the rep. So each time you raise, you're really squeezing your abdominals, and then you're releasing. Dig your heels into the ground, and release. So you can see that my abdominals are really squeezing tight here that's it you're about halfway through this particular exercise that's it keep going push yourself you feel your abdominals getting pretty fatigued here then another 30 seconds and then we'll switch inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, up and down, up and down. That's it, another 10 seconds. Two more reps. Okay. Now you're going to set this right on your chest here, not on your sternum, on your chest. And then you're going to lateral, you're going to fold your body sideways doing a lateral bend. So crunch, release, other side, crunch, release. You really feel it right here in the oblique muscles. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Coordinating your breathing is very important. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. That's it. Keep it going. Keep moving. 
you got to push yourself through this section here. Your sides are getting tight. That's it. Get another 30 seconds. So out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. You're really going to firm up those abdominals. Get rid of those love handles. Tighten everything up. Another 15 seconds. Okay, you're halfway through. Next one is alternating jackknives. Legs out straight. As you raise one leg, you're going to touch and bring it down. Touch and bring it down. Alternating each time. So you protect your lower back. If you try to do both legs at the same time, it can hurt your back if, you're not, if you don't have very strong abdominals. So the alternating is a little bit safer for you. But you're still getting the work, really working your lower abdominals. Notice the timing. Everything raises at the same time, lowers at the same time. Keep moving, keep going. The harder you work now, the better the benefits are going to be when you're finished. Another 20 seconds. Make sure you have a good firm grip on the kettlebell. 10 seconds. Okay, you start with the kettlebell overhead here. This is the line pullover. So, and then as you drop it down, you're going to raise your head and contract your upper abdominals and then slowly release, expanding the rib cage. Exhale, inhale, take a deep breath into the chest. Exhale, inhale. Keep it moving. Push yourself. We're getting to the last couple of minutes here of this routine. Another 15 seconds. Okay, last one. You're going to pull your feet underneath you. Set the kettlebell right on your stomach muscles. Now you're going to firm up everything here. You're going to arch, hold it, and release. Breathe in, arch. Your weight's on your shoulders. Come up on your toes, and release. Just use the hands to balance the kettlebell. You can also lie it down on its side. You're just adding a little bit extra weight here. This is going to really tone your lower back muscles. <clears throat> That's it. Keep pushing through. We're in our last minute here. Up. And down. Up. And down. Don't let the kettlebell be too high on your sternum. Or too low over your pelvis. Should be on the soft part of your body. On your abdominal muscles. Up. And down. Up and down, toning up the lower abs. Up, down, up, breathe in and breathe out. 
Last 15 seconds. Five. Four. That's it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Three. Two. Last one. Really arch. One. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And down. Good. So that's a 10 minute abdominal routine. Done lying down. Did a great job. We're going to go over a 10 minute abdominal routine here. And we're only going to use six exercises. The first four exercises are going to be done for a minute and a half or 90 seconds each. And then the last two exercises are going to be done for only a minute each. These are all going to be done either seated or lying down. A couple of key points to keep in mind. You want to keep your abdominals nice and firm throughout. Keep your butt tight but not completely clenched just to, to keep some stability so you don't feel any stress in your lower back. I want you to keep moving, doing your best, and working real hard throughout this 10-minute session. Okay? So we're going to get started. The first exercise, you're going to start seated. And you're going to use a moderate-sized kettlebell. I'm using a 36, 35-pound kettlebell here. So use one that works for you that you can sustain. Okay? This is a seated hot potato. So you're going to be passing it from one hand to the next. And notice that my abdominals are contracting each time here. So you're working the abdominals. You want to keep your hands close together, not too far to the side where you're going to hurt your shoulder right in front of you. So get your heart rate going as well as strengthening the midsection. Try to stay as upright as you can, not falling back. And as you get more comfortable, you can go faster. The faster you go, the sharper the contraction, the stronger the abdominal contraction is going to be. That's it. Nice and steady. Keep going. If you start losing breath, you can slow it down. If you're not confident, you can just pass it this way from one hand to another. But if you trust your coordination, you can get a little bit more aggressive throwing it from one hand to another. All right, another 30 seconds. Notice I take quick breaths here, compressing the abdominal wall. Ten more seconds. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Okay. Next exercise. Grab it by the handle. Legs out in front. You're going to swing side to side. Okay. Really twisting here. Really put a lot of torque into it. Work in that midsection. This is great for any type of athlete that's doing any type of swinging, like baseball or cricket or anything that involves rotation, golf, okay, throwing movements. This will really get your cardio, your heart rate really moving. It's back and forth. You can also just Hold it this way and rotate side to side if you're not used to the swinging movement. Get another 30 seconds here. Hook swings. Really working the obliques on the inner and outer side. Keep going. This is not easy. It's hard work. That's how you get results. Really working hard. Let's go another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now you're going to lie flat on your back. And you're going to bring your knees to your chest here. So from here, knees and out. Knees in, knees out. If you're sweating, you might find your, 
your lower back starts sticking to the surface. So you might want to put on a t-shirt or lay a towel down. Exhale, contract. Inhale, expand. Exhale, inhale. If your abdominals get tired, you put your feet down between reps and then pick them up. If you're more conditioned, you know, so that I can keep my feet up the entire time. You probably hear my lower back sticking to the mat here. It's because I'm sweating, working hard. That's it, another, another 20 seconds. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Ten seconds. That's it. Keep going. Three more reps. Good. Now you're gonna have your you're gonna hold the kettlebell by the ball here or by the handles, whichever you prefer. Feet at a 90. You're gonna twist and pull back. Twist the other way. Knees touch the ground and pull back. It's a lying hip rotation. You can cross one foot over the other. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's it, keep going, push yourself. Keep working, really trim up that waistline. Nice and firm, get rid of the love handles. Strengthen the spine, strengthen your lower back, abdominals. Another 30 seconds. Ten more seconds. Good. Now we have the full range of motion get up, sit up. You did the partial range get up before. Press this up. Now you're going to come all the way up. Sit up tall. Then slowly let yourself down. Use your other hand to help push up and slowly let yourself down. Notice the kettlebell stays vertical. Release your hand. Slowly let yourself down. Breathing. Inhale. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale down. One more. Bring it down with two hands. Switch hands and get up, sit up. Notice the alignment, the kettlebells right over my hips. And down. You can use this offhand. To slide down, or you can take the hand away, which makes it more challenging. Exhale up, inhale to top, exhale down, a couple more reps, two more. Good. Now, last exercise is a side plank. You can put your feet together, have your forearm here, take the kettlebell, put it right over your hip, and you're going to lift, hold, and down. Lift, hold, and down. So you're working the side of your abdominals here, as well as your hips, up and down. Good. Last minute and a half. Really push. 
and down. Do your best. Push and down. The harder you work, the greater your rewards are going to be. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Three more. Three, two, one. Lift, down. Place it down. Come to the other side. Get your forearm in position. Kettlebell right on top of your side hip here. And lift and down. Plank position. Come on, hang in there. You're doing great. Okay, you're almost wrapping it up here. Up and down. Up and down. Last 30 seconds. Plank and rest. Plank and drop. Let's go. Come on. And down. Last 15 seconds. Lift. Drop. Keep moving. Lift. Drop. Lift. Drop. Two more. Up. Down. Up. And down. Good. So we work this entire region here, like you have an inner tube all the way around of strong, toned muscle. Great job, that's another 10 minute abdominal routine. Go ahead and dry yourself off.